Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video I'm going to be talking about VPC peering in Google Cloud Platform. All right, so things like why do we need VPC peering and how to set one up and all those things. So this is going to be a short video. When I say short, it's not going to be really short like two or three minutes video. So my videos are usually about 30 minutes long, but this one I guess it will take about 10 to 15 minutes. So that's what I mean by short video. All right, so I've got my notes here. So what we are trying to do in this video is I've got uh, two VPC, so VPC1 and VPC2. And I've shown in a different video how to create your VPC virtual private cloud and how to create your subnets and how VPCs are global and subnets are regional, unlike in AWS where VPCs are regional and subnets are zonal. All right, so um, I would advise you to watch the other video about VPC and subnets if you want more details, but this one is purely about VPC peering. All right, so for my setup, for, for this video, what I've got is um, I've already logged into my uh, Google Cloud platform here. So in a minute, I'll show you my VPC setup. But what, what I've got basically is two VPCs, two virtual private cloud called VPC1 and VPC2. And in VPC1, I've got two subnets, one in EU West region and one in US West region. And in VPC2, I've got one subnet, EU West 2. All right. So without peering connection, so I've got two VPCs. If I deploy a virtual machine in EU West 2 in this uh, region, will I be able to talk to a machine in this region? And will I be able to talk to a machine that's deployed in this region? So that's what we are going to verify, all right? So I've got the VPC and subnets already created, and I'm gonna create three VMs in each of these uh, subnets. So before going, I will show you that within a VPC, uh, machines can talk to each other even if they are in a different subnets. So for example, this VPC here, these two virtual machines can talk to each other because they are in the same VPC, although they are in the different region. Uh, this one is in EU West region, this one is in US West, uh, so Europe and US, but still they can talk to each other because they belong to the same VPC, all right? But this virtual machine or this virtual machine won't be able to talk to this virtual machine, which is in VPC2, which is a separate isolated uh, network. Although you can see here, this uh, subnet and this subnet, they are they both are in the EU West region, uh, EU West 2 to be specific, uh, London region, London, yeah, London region. They won't be able to talk to each other because they are in different VPC. All right, so let's get um, started. So I'm gonna create three virtual machines in these three regions and see if um, which machine can talk to which other machine. And then we'll go ahead and set up VPC peering between these two VPCs and then see how these talk to each other. So when I say VPC peering, what I mean by, uh, what I mean is, so when you deploy virtual machines, you get both private and public IP address, depending on how you create your virtual machine. So when you create a VPC peering, the machines in different regions can talk to each other using private IP so that they don't have to go through the internet to be able to reach the other machine. Depending on the firewall you've configured, um, you don't have to go through the internet. If you don't have VPC peering, this machine, if it wants to talk to this machine, then it has to go through the internet and you have to set up firewall um, on this subnet, on this VPC. But if you set up VPC peering between these two VPCs, then these machines can talk to each other like they are in the same network. They don't have to go through the internet, all right? So we are going to talk to each other. We are going to make these machines talk to each other um, in the private IP space. Okay, enough talking. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a short video anymore. I've done too much of talking. Anyways, so I'm gonna go to uh, the VPC network. I'm gonna show you what VPCs and subnets I've got. So I've got two VPCs, as I told, VPC one, I've got Europe West and US West, two region, subnets in two region, and I've got Europe West. So you can see here, I've got uh, two subnets in Europe West, two region, but they are in two different VPCs, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and create virtual machine in each of these subnets. I'm gonna go to Compute Engine, VM Instances, Create, let's call it Instance 1. I'm gonna deploy this in EU West 2. Let's leave that as Europe West 2C for zone. I'm not worried too much about the zone. 
machine type let's go for the smallest one f1 micro i'm going to leave uh, the default disk image of debian 10 and the other important thing is under uh, the networking i'm going to choose vpc1 and the appropriate subnet which is eu west 2. all right so that's done let's create so that's our first virtual machine in eu west 2. i'm going to create another instance let's call it instance 2 and now it's going to be in us west 2 and again i'm going to change the instance type to f1 micro leave the default disk image and networking sorry under networking again it's going to be in the vpc1 because now we are creating this machine in us west 2 which is in vpc1 so vpc1 and the subnet is uh us west 2 okay so that all looks good create let's create the final virtual machine in vpc2 so let's leave that as instance 3 and i'm going to choose eu west 2 and i'm going to leave that in the default zone europe west 2c so that's the first machine that we created is also in the same uh, zone uh, europe west 2c instance type f1 micro and then under networking and i'm going to choose vpc2 this time and it will be in the eu west 2 region okay let's create it all right so we have three virtual machines two of them are ready and the other one is getting launched and if you look here the first two machines are in vpc1 and this machine is in vpc2 all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to log into this machine first okay so all the three machines are up and running and I'm going to log into this uh, first machine, which is in this uh, region, EU West 2 in VPC 1. All right, click on SSH and let's wait for the interactive shell to open. All right, so that's our machine and I'm going to install Telnet because I don't think we've got Telnet. Which Telnet? We don't have it. So sudo apt install Telnet. Because basically I'm going to verify if I can connect to other machine on port 22 okay so what's the other machine so let's try and ping this machine uh, instance 2 which is in the same VPC but in a different region so this machine is in US West region and we are trying to ping this machine from VM 1 which is in the EU West region all right so it's this machine and I'm going to copy the IP address 10.0.2.2 and I'm um, basically trying to access it using the private IP. I'm not trying to access it using the public IP because um, I've got my firewalls configured so that uh, it allows connection on port 22 from any IP. So even if it's in different VPC, these machines can access each other using the public IP. But that's not the, uh, uh, the idea for this video. This video is about VPC peering, which is uh, basically uh, interconnectivity between two VPCs using private IP. All right. So 10.0.2.2, let's see if we can connect uh, to a machine in another region within the same VPC. All right, so Telnet. Telnet. 10.0.2.2 on port 22. Yep, so it says we are connected to 10.0.2.2 on port 22. So that's working fine. All right, let's close this. Okay, so now I'm going to try and ping this machine, instance 3. Copy that. So instance 3 is the machine in EU West 2, but it's in the VPC 2 network. It's in a different VPC. So we shouldn't be able to um, ping that machine or telnet to that machine. All right, so telnet, port 22. Yep, trying, 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 and it won't connect because it's in a different VPC. All right. Um, cool. Okay, so we verified that machines in the same VPC, even if they are in different regions, can communicate with each other. But machines even within the same region and also within the same zone won't be able to talk to each other if they are in different VPC. So this is where the VPC peering comes in. So what we are basically trying to do is we are going to peer these two VPCs so that 
resources in these two VPCs can talk to each other um, as if they are in the same VPC, as if it, as if they are in the same network. All right. So the other VPC can be a second VPC in your same project, or it can be a different, uh, or it can be a VPC on a different project, or it can be a VPC on a different Google Cloud account. So you can uh, peer any VPCs in any projects or any Google Cloud accounts. Okay. So in my case. Uh, both my VPCs are in the same project in the same account. So I'm going to go to VPC network and VPC network peering. So it is a two step process. So first we need to establish a VPC peering connection from VPC one to VPC two. And then we also need to establish the connection from VPC two to VPC one. So it's a two way thing. Let's try and do that. Create a connection, continue name let's give it a name let's call it vpc1 to vpc2 uh, vpc1 so the other vpc that you are going to peer is it in the same project or is it in a different project so in my case it's in the same project so i'm selecting this radio button and uh, the other vpc is vpc2 okay so create so now we have created we're only halfway done uh, we've created one peering connection from one vpc to another let's give it a few more moments okay so now it says it's inactive and if i click on this peering connection it will say why it's inactive so waiting for the connection to be created by vpc2 so this is just one part we also need to do the other part from vpc2 to vpc1 so let's try and do that now continue the same uh, but this time the opposite side vpc2 to vpc1 so I'm going to select VPC2 and now VPC1 create. All right. So now in a few moments, we will. Yeah. So both of them are active now and now we should be able to ping each other. So now given these two VPCs are um, paired, then we should be able to ping resources from one VPC to another VPC. So when you're creating the VPC peering connection, what you need to bear in mind is um, you can't pair two VPCs if they have overlapping network ranges. So if you look in my VPC network, all the networks um, are unique. So this subnets 10.0.1.0 slash 24. This one is 10.0.2.0 and this one is 10.0.3.0. For example, if I if I have 10.0.1.0 again in this VPC, then we won't be able to pair these two VPCs. So, the um, IP address ranges for the subnet in these VPCs that you're appearing together should be unique. They, they shouldn't overlap, all right? Okay, so now let's do the same testing again. Telnet 10.0.3.2.22, there we go. So now we can connect to that machine. All right, cool. So that's VPC peering and that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And now let's go ahead and delete this VPC uh, peering. So you won't be able to delete both the VPC peering at the same time. You have to delete one after the other. If I do a delete, are you sure that you want to delete two peering connections? Deleting peerings. Okay, so when I did this uh, before recording this video, it was showing me an error, but this time it's going through fine. So ignore my, yeah, that, that's what you will see. Fail to delete, there is a peering operation in progress. So you have to delete one by one. So given that one VPC is now deleted, now we can go ahead and delete the other VPC peering connection. So that's what happens when you have, uh, when you try to delete both the VPC uh, peering connections at the same time. So you have to uh, delete one and wait for the, uh, wait for it to complete, fully delete, and then go for the other one. All right, so VM instances, let's also delete um, all the VMs that we uh, created. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hope. Um, you found this video useful. Please let me know if you've got any questions. I'll be happy to help and um, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye